What's going on guys? This is Divine and I'm here to bring you a new video on how to do a battery replacement in your Astro A50s. So the reason for this video is because uh, when I was doing this on my own headset, I did notice that when I was researching guides how to do this, uh, there was nothing that really told you the full step process on how to do this. Uh, most of the guides out there online really do leave out one or two steps um, that I thought might be relevant. And it's really not a hard process to replace your battery in these headsets, but um, I just want to give you guys a full walkthrough of what kind of tools you're going to need um, and then also the detailed step-by-step -step process on how to perform this battery replacement. So like I just said, it is a fairly easy process. Um, this should take you about between 15 and 30 minutes doing it the first time. And I would so say the skill level required for this is around intermediate just because you do have to do a little bit of soldering. It's nothing crazy, but it can be a little kind of annoying if you haven't done any kind of soldering before. So I kind of want to talk about uh, the different tools that you're going to need for this job. Um, first is going to be a soldering iron. Uh, this one you can't unfortunately get, get away without having um, because you are going to have to solder the wires to the new battery to the headset itself. Um, and you're going to need solder for that soldering iron. Um, the next one would be a screwdriver kit. Now this one you could get away without owning an actual kit. You could just own a couple of precision screwdrivers. Um, I recommend the kit just because it does include a lot of other good stuff like tweezers like I recommend in this uh, tool set as well for this job. Uh, the next is going to be a battery bank. Um, these are just those USB powered uh, batteries um, that you can plug in the headset just to ensure that if you're kind of away repairing your headset that you don't have a quick access to the docking station to check to see if it's charging this is an easy way to get around that and lastly is going to be the replacement battery itself so um, the replacement battery is fairly cheap and I would say after all these tools um, I mean it really depends on your repair costs if you own all these tools except for maybe the replacement battery this could be a very cheap uh, and efficient job to do but if you don't I would say the recommended uh, amount to spend would be between 30 and 60 dollars and I will have a links in the description below for all the tools that I use during this job all right guys so now it's time to jump into it I have my beautiful fiance here helping me out um, showing us what we're going to be repairing here and she'll actually be doing the repair so I'm going to just do the voiceover for it. Uh, we have our battery bank, we have our headset, we have our replacement battery. As you can see we also have our soldering iron here um, with our precision screwdriver set with the different heads for any little screws that we may come across and our tweezers. So these tweezers do help for routing the wires when we're going to solder the uh, battery to the headset itself. All right, so now that we've cleared everything out of the way, we wanna look at the headset and we wanna locate the uh, side that actually has the mic on it. Um, so we're gonna flip these uh, earpieces out and then pull the actual kind of foam padding all the way around it off. Um, this will actually reveal four different screw holes that you're gonna see. And sorry for all the dog hair, it's kind of the, you know, the struggle for owning a husky. You, the hair just gets everywhere. So we'll just clean this off just a little bit there. Um, just so you can see it better. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll take out these four screws. All right, so now that we've gotten the four screws off, this black plate will actually come straight off. Uh, we'll set this off to the side, but remember what screws go to what, um, so you don't want to get it all confused. But now we have four more screws that we need to take off to get this silver plate off. Two are actually hidden up near underneath this screen filter here, so two we can get easy access, but the other two we're actually going to have to take this precision screwdriver and just kind of peel back up on the foam. It's glued in place, so if you just are kind of careful, you can actually peel it up pretty easily and kind of reveal the screw holes here. So we can see there is one right there um, and then there will be another one right off to the right as well. So we'll just go ahead and unscrew that one. Now that we have the left one done, uh, we're just going to pull back up on this right side um, just very gently. Try not to rip the screen if you can. Like I said, it's just glued in place but if you kind of take your time and just kind of pick at it, you can easily reveal that other screw hole. Um, and then you'll see that we just pull back right over here uh, just a little bit more and there's the next screw. So we're going to go ahead and take these other three other screws out and then I'll show you what is underneath. Alright, so a little jump cut and we have all the screws removed and this plate can actually come off and you'll see that it's actually attached to the speaker. So be careful, don't really just pull it off. You want to be kind of gentle with it. Um, 
but what we're after is this battery on the back side and it is all the way down near like the edge of where the headset is so we really do have to take off everything to get there so we'll pull back on here and then you'll notice the wires um, and these are the wires that you're going to have to replace um, to the battery but the battery is hidden behind this little black box over here so we're going to have to unscrew some more stuff here um, and then we can have access to the battery itself. All right, so now that we have that right screw up there done, what we have to do is get at the left screw, which is actually kind of hidden under this blue cable. So this is kind of another spot where these precision screwdrivers really do help out. Um, you can kind of use them to just kind of sneak past this cable to unscrew it as well. All right, now since the second screw is undone, now we need to go into the middle of the circuit board and actually unscrew it. And then there will be another one off to the left as well, un hidden under these wires again. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to have these kind of precision screwdrivers. And after you've unscrewed those two, we'll just kind of shake those screws out, uh, set them off to the side so we know where they're going to be going. Um, and then you can kind of see we're just going to take this headset, put the silver plate kind of just loosely back on, flip the headset over, and then you can kind of pop this plate up and kind of twist it over to reveal the battery actually behind it. And this is what we're going to be replacing, guys. All right, so now that we have that showing, we're just going to pry the battery out um, just nice and easy. Uh, that way, just getting it out is going to be a little bit easier on us. And after you have it just kind of dangling there, uh, you can again just uh, go ahead and flip the headset over. Um, again, uh, you'll have this silver plate and just kind of pull it up and then over. Uh, be careful because you don't want to rip your speaker wire. And then we have access to the cables that go to the battery. It's going to be these three cables here, a red, yellow, and black. Um, and this is what we're going to have to remove to get out the battery. So now that we have the headset flipped over, it's time to have our soldering iron out. I like to use these tweezers, and I'm sorry for the blurry kind of photo, but what I'm using is just kind of pulling up with the tweezers as I touch these contact points on the wire, and just loosely kind of pull up on them. Um, this breaks the connection off, and it's going to allow us to slide out the old battery so that we can put in the new one as well. Um, so. You can see that the red wire is finally loose. Uh, the yellow one was kind of being a stickler. It kind of came off and then it kind of reapplied itself. Um, you'll notice just a slight bit of smoke. So if you guys have uh, any kind of little fan throughout the room, just kind of have it so it helps circulate the air. Um, a nice headlight of some sort does help here. So we're almost to the third wire here. It should be coming off any second. And like I said, you can just see those uh, tweezers and we're just going to pull up ever so slightly to help kind of break off the connection so it doesn't reapply. So now that we have those connections loose uh, we're just going to put the silver piece back on so we don't rip the speaker wire at any time and we can just pull gently back on the battery and pull it straight out. Uh, now it's time to grab your new battery. Uh, what we'll do is we'll actually feed those wires through that back hole again and stick the new battery in. So let me go ahead and do that and then we'll get back to showing you how to reconnect those wires. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna put these wires straight down into this hole, put the battery right in, um, and then we can actually slide this plate back up and get it ready for when we need to reapply the screws. So we'll just click that back down um, and then turn the headset back over. And then you can pull back on the silver one, again, just being very careful. And then I'm gonna show you guys a trip trick on how to make these wires a little bit easier to manage. So we have a little bit of piece of blue painter's tape. Uh, this allows us, because the wires like to kind of bend one way, um, to put the other two out of the way while we're working on one uh, in particular. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and get ready for soldering them back onto the board. So one thing to note with this is you're not always going to need the solder. So in our case here, uh, we actually had a bunch of solder left on the on the board itself. So all we had to do is actually kind of hold the cable and just reapply and hold it as it cooled. Um, that's where these little tweezers come really in handy. You can kind of help um, hold the wire in place while you reheat and reapply. 
One thing to note with this battery that I used, um, instead of the yellow wire, they actually changed the color to white. So if you happen to buy the same battery as I did, um, make sure you wire it in red, white, and black. So that's the only kind of thing that may kind of stump you a little bit. I did uh, run into it thinking I might have bought the wrong battery at first, and then I just realized that they just use different color cabling. So we only have one more wire to do, and then we can start screwing back up the headset here. All right, and here we go with just the black wire left to go here. We're just gonna hold it in place with these tweezers and just kind of heat up that solder that's still on the board and then hold it for just a second, let it cool off. And there we go, guys. Now we can actually uh, start screwing everything back down. Uh, we'll just kind of pull a little slightly on each cable just to ensure that they have a good connection because you don't want to have to kind of keep opening up your headset uh, and just the off chance that a wire does come off. And here we're just going to be doing everything in reverse here. Um, those two screws that were up top, we're going to screw those back in. And then we're also going to screw in the two that were in the circuit board itself. Um, and then after that, the back plate on that just covers the battery itself uh, should be held in place very nicely. So I will skip to the next step. Okay, so now that we have all four of these screws uh, put in place. Now we can go ahead and put the silver piece back on. Um, kind of click it down. Uh, just try to be careful. Uh, sometimes this blue wire can kind of push up a little bit so you may just have to move it around slightly. Um, and this is where we're going to replace those four screws. I'm going to give it a quick clean because this is the perfect opportunity to get any kind of earwax or hair out of there. Um, you can also use a little bit of canned air, but be very careful with that. And since we've already picked away kind of at this glue on the screen, uh, getting to these screw holes should be fairly easy. So we'll go ahead and put in these four screws. And like I said, kind of keep track what screws go to where as well. Okay, so we have all four of those screws put back in place. I have a nice little cleaning cloth. I'm just going to wipe down this black piece here before we stick it back on. Um, and this should be the last of our screws, so make sure you put it on the right way. It should sit fairly flush. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and put in these last four screws here. All right, so the last piece, we've screwed down the black piece, and now it's time to tuck down in a cushion that kind of cups your ears for you. So the first three corners are going to be fairly easy. Um, you just want to tuck them around that ridge between the silver and the black plate. Um, the last corner can be a little difficult, so feel free to use that screwdriver very carefully and kind of pull up and then pulled down over and it kind of helps get it down into that ridge for you but other than that guys uh, just give it a quick uh, clean off and you should be good with a new battery and you should have nice long charge again out of your headset so hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys are able to do it yourself and have a good one